and welcome to another episode of Orc Rose, where we bring to you everything nerdy, geeky, and just plain fun. My name's Derek. And my name is Thomas. And today we have an episode in which we're going to help any of our non-nerd friends out there uh, buy gifts for the nerd in your life. And for our nerd and geek friends out there like us that are watching this, once again, welcome back. And please feel free to share this video with family and friends that are looking to purchase you a gift. Uh, so we got a, two essentially lists yep. set up here. Um, and basically what they boil down to is we've got these great material gift ideas that are good for just about any type of nerd out there. And okay. then we've got the last minute ideas. <laughs> and these are going to be great gifts that can be get that can be obtained very simply and possibly without even any shipping. Man, words are hard tonight. They really are. Over. It's not it's not just you. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, um thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um, First thing I would, for the first bit of advice that I would give is uh, know your nerd. You know, I mean, there's a bunch of us out there. There's a bunch of, you know, different kinds of nerds, people that like different kind of nerdy things. You, if, if you're not a nerd, you may not know that. You, know, you may just lump everybody into a nerd category. And that's unfortunately not the case. Uh, we, we have a lot of different likes. I think the thing that kind of ties us all together is we have things... Uh, that we're passionate about, like really passionate about. It's true. And we do tend to be a very niche group in yeah. that we like a certain genre of things. Um, superhero stuff, yeah. comic book stuff, science fiction stuff, yeah. fantasy stuff, video games, tabletop games, all of this sort of thing. And not all of those things are good gifts for a nerd. Yep. For example, a tabletop game. We we love Dungeons and Dragons. We talk about it a good bit. It's actually been a little bit since we've talked yeah. about it. Uh, but we are huge D and D fans. If you were watching this for to get a your the nerd in your life a gift, a starter set for Dungeons and Dragons probably not the best option because they probably have it and all of the other books associated with it. More than likely. So we're going to be going over some good gift ideas for those people, things that they may not have, or it won't hurt for them to have duplicates. They'll still be appreciative for yep. it. So let's start off with the good material gifts okay. that we have in mind. Now, these are going to be gifts that you can purchase in a store, whether it's a comic shop, Walmart, GameStop, whatever, or online and have shipped to you. Um, these are not the last minute ideas. We'll be getting back to those in just a moment. So first up, and this should be an obvious one. Shirts. Shirts, hats, yep. gloves, earrings for those of us that wear earrings. Uh, I know the um, gauges are a big deal for <laughs> some look, nerds. I was like, but no, no, okay. No, no, I, I don't yeah. wear earrings. Yeah, no. Anyways. Um, <laughs> those of us, right? And there are a lot of, actually, there's a lot of nerdy gauges out there. Oh, sure, there. yeah. Uh, there, I, I think I've seen D20 gauges. 20 sided dice. I right, won't lie, that's kind of cool. It's yeah, that, that, that is. I'm not doing that to my ears, though. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe Nothing I'm good. Should do. I'm good, yeah. Uh, but t shirts, especially, are great because everybody's making shirts these days. And everybody's making them, whether it's for Star Trek, Star Wars, Doctor Who, um, Stranger Things, Stranger Things yeah. Dungeons and Dragons, video games, all of the Marvel. video games, yeah, Marvel, DC, comic books, I mean, everything. Yeah. Now, while these shirts are great gifts for nerds, don't get a Millennium Falcon shirt for a Star Trek fan. Unless they also like Star Wars. Do be <clears throat> aware of that. Yeah, some do. I mean, like, well, us, you yeah, know. us. We'd be happy with, you know, Enterprise shirt, uh, Millennium Falcon shirt. We're not real picky when it comes to that sort of stuff. But there are... Folks out there that are very, very picky. Um, and, and I mean, not picky in a bad way. It's just that, you know, they have one or two things that they're very, very passionate about. And, you know, not so much on the others. Um, and actually, sometimes even, you know, even dislike. You know, I mean, oh, some, yeah. Some, there, yeah, there are most certainly uh, Star Wars people that, that strongly dislike uh, Star Trek and some Star Trek people that strongly dislike Star Wars. So, again, know your nerd. Take a little time. You know, talk to them and find out what they like. It, it, it's going to help immensely on stuff yeah. like that. Um, 
Also worth mentioning, a great place for things like that, and also other things like lunchboxes, um, that's the main thing that comes to mind. Uh, a little desktop like trinkets, USB. Really? Yes, yes, lunchboxes. <laughs> okay. Um, desktop trinkets, USB hubs that look like a TARDIS, stuff like yeah. that. Um, great place to get that sort of thing would be thinkgeek.com. Tons of nerdy things, pretty much any nerdy thing that you can possibly think of, and then some. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I don't shop a lot on that site. Well, you should, but I, well, I mean, I've gotten several things. By the from way, there. we are not sponsored by ThinkGeek. We're, Geek. we're we not sponsored by ThinkGeek, awesome. but they are awesome. Um, they actually have some physical stores in certain places as well. Oh. Um, not around here so far as I know, but, well, that's just yeah, but, but they, yeah, they exist. And to be fair, if you can't find what you're looking for there, there's always Amazon. Oh yeah. There's always, you can check out the official sites. Usually they have merchandise. Um, that sort of thing is always Sometimes a good option. Sometimes not as much. It's weird. Well, yeah, yeah it, it depends weird. on what it is. Um, there are also specialty shops yeah. like Star Trek. I am always getting newsletters about discounts at specialty shops. And look out for the discounts, too. Uh, they're out yeah. there. If you're looking to actually purchase something to be shipped to you, uh, maybe sign up for a newsletter. Uh, yep. That way you'll know when those discounts are happening. Uh, another thing for the tabletop gaming nerds out there. There are some great things for those people. We mentioned earlier, if you know your nerd is into Dungeons & Dragons, the game itself, probably not the best idea. But, a new set of dice? Always a great yeah, idea. Yeah, we're kind of a sucker for that. We really yeah, are. We really yeah. are. We, um, you cannot have too many dice sets. No. You know, I mean, it's... it's uh, like anyone that plays a tabletop or tabletop games, mm -hmm. um, particularly RPGs like uh, like D and D and Pathfinder and those type of things, yep. yeah, n none of us are going to be like, oh man, another dice set. We're we're always like, oh man, another dice set. So yeah, Pretty much. it, it yeah, can even it, be the exact same color from the same manufacturer. We're still excited. Um, yeah, another much. great idea pretty for much. that type of nerd would be little miniature figurines that they can use in their mm -hmm. game session. Oh, yeah. Uh, those are wonderful, whether they're pre-painted or not yet painted. They can still be used. Yeah. Because uh, I know, personally, I'm never going to paint them. Um, Some people love to do it. Some people are horrible at it. But so, if your nerd's not going to yeah. paint them, they probably have a friend who will more than happily do more yep. than it. Words are hard, dude. They are, man. Though we will be days. more than happy to do it. Man, that was difficult. <laughs> oh, shut it. <laughs> Anyways, um, now, for the video gamer nerds out there, and if you are a They're video right. gamer, oh, you I are a it. nerd. I don't want to hear it. I don't care if all you play is Call of Duty. You're a nerd, too. Pretty um, much. Pretty much. Controller. <clears throat> People do not think that gaming nerds want controllers. Gaming uh, nerds do want especially controllers. Especially if it's a cool design, uh, that is awesome. That will become their new favorite controller, so one yeah. they will always use. And if not a controller, uh, skins they do have, for controllers. Yeah, they do have skins for controllers, which yeah, is actually brilliant. I, 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 oddly enough, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, no, that sort of thing is so wonderful. Thing. Extra battery packs, as silly as it sounds, incredibly useful. Honestly, it as basic as it sounds, and again, you, you're probably thinking a, a basic controller, it, like if they have an, if you know they have a uh, PS4 or an Xbox One, or if they're old like me and have a PS3, you know, I mean, honestly, even a basic controller, like not mm -hmm. fancy, yes, they have them, yes, they break, and other things happen to them. Sometimes Especially the battery just loses a charge. Thrown. You know, I mean, these things happen. Having spares of those things is amazing. And, well, that is one thing. You know, most of those aren't, like, incredibly cheap, right? I mean, no, the they're not. But there the are off-brands that are. But, um, Afterglow, though they have gone up yeah. in price, uh, is but, a very but, cheap, uh, more cheap brand of yeah. controller. Uh, and generally, they're a little bit more interesting right. than other controllers. I believe they have wireless versions now, oh, too. Nice. They always used to be wired. Um, but yeah, those sort of things. Consequently, if you get one of those, I mean, they'll be happy. You know, yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter if they have two or three of them. They'll be happy. Even if it's a wired controller. I love getting wired controllers because then I could just plug them into the computer and use them. 
Uh, that yeah, was great. Wire controllers don't run out of batteries. It's nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so you never stop your gaming. Some people actually prefer yeah. wire controllers. Um, another great idea for a video gaming nerd, even tabletop gaming nerds, uh, actually just about any nerd will love this. And I don't know why it's not brought up more often, but ask what their favorite energy drink is and get them a case of it. Yep. Yep. That is an incredible gift to especially video gaming nerds that like to stay up all night playing, uh, trying to get the um, raids done yeah. and whatnot. Uh, oh, yeah. That, that's yeah, more no, MMORPG yeah, sure, yeah. people. And we're, we're coming back to yeah, that. It's actually uh, a big thing, too, though, in um, like uh, first-person shooters. It is. Uh, I mean, because they, Beyond when they you're it's not really a raid type thing, but I mean, it is late. I mean, those people play like early, early in the morning. A lot uh -huh. of so yeah, I mean, it, it, honestly, any video game, well, or tabletop, like you were saying, because tabletop sessions can last <laughs> an indefinite amount of time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, he's right. That's why I didn't sleep last night. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, uh, but energy drinks, great idea. Also, to, uh, we didn't mention it earlier, but it crossed my mind as we were talking about this. Um, if you know they like a particular kind of thing like fantasy or sci-fi, uh, Etsy is not a bad stop. It's not. You it know, really you, isn't you can go on there, cool you, customizable stuff. You can get stuff. some like customizable, handmade stuff. Like I can tell you most fantasy uh, geeks, if you can find you know, a handmade goblet. Those things are awesome. Or something like that. They 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 are just cool. They will use them with the energy drinks. You know, I mean, it's it's something different and unique. Um, and uh, I mean, Etsy's kind of weird, like price wise, like sometimes they're really, really high. Sometimes they're mm -hmm. extremely reasonable. So shop around a little bit, but you know, stuff like this is awesome. You know I mean? I, 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 I'd be happy anytime I got one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and one last thing, as far as good material gifts you can get for the nerd in your life, uh, there is a company out there and once again, we are not being sponsored by them. We just think that they offer a pretty cool service, uh, called, and you've probably heard of them, Loot Crate. Oh yeah. It's a great service for nerds and geeks specifically because what it does is it sends them a monthly box of just random, cool, nerdy stuff. Yep. And you get a lot of like little desktop bubble things. Um, sometimes shirts. Sometimes yep. shirts. Sometimes uh, little... I, I got a uh, Sonic Screwdriver Spork once from Doctor Who. Oh, that's kind of cool. And, oh, it was, <laughs> that, it was awesome. Cool. Um that's pretty funny. Yeah, no, 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 I was very excited about that. Um, but yeah, it's a great service. Uh, and, and also, you don't have to sign them up for like a year of service no. or anything. You can buy them one box yeah. and say, here you go. And it's going to be, they're going to like something in it. And that's a really cool thing about Loot Crate. And I think I, I could be wrong on this. And I mean, like, I, I went on the site a bit ago and it's changed quite a bit in the past like year or two. Mm -hmm. uh, but I believe you can kind of customize it a little bit as well now, uh, like stuff from this, you know, show or from this kind of thing. I think they have that option. Uh, I mean, That's check good. to be sure, but I think they did. That's good. It's uh, I, they still have like their completely random thing as well, but I think uh, it, it might change a little bit, but I think they have at least a few different uh, genres that you can actually pick from uh, now, which is actually wonderful I, I think that's brilliant it really is um now our next section is going to be for those of you and we know you're watching who have waited until december 24th to get your nerd a gift and that is fine we have you covered because there are some awesome gifts that you can get for the nerd in your life that don't involve shipping don't involve you going out and trying to find them at the last minute and we've got a list of things that are going to be great for you. So, first up, this should be an obvious one, guys. Gift cards. Gift cards are awesome. Gift cards for are awesome anyone. for anybody. Yeah, whether, they're, they're... whether they're a nerd or not, gift cards are awesome. Get an Amazon gift card and they will find something they want. Yeah, easy. That easy, is wonderful. Easy gift. Easy gift. And you know what? They're going to be thrilled with it because they can actually pick up exactly what they want. Exactly. So, yeah. and, and if you want it to be a little bit more tailored to the person that you're shopping for, GameStop gift cards are wonderful for video game nerds. Yep. Um, 
books a million Barnes and Noble type gift cards for the book nerd in your life because I know that you've got them. Oh yeah. Um, we love books. We sure do. Um, and actually, that's also good sometimes for uh, tabletop nerds. You know what? I didn't think about it. Best no. Buy is not horrible either. Best Buy gift cards are wonderful. Lots of movies, uh, lots of games, mm -hmm. lots of tech. You know, I mean, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, it's hard to go wrong there. Yeah. Uh, along the same lines as gift cards, what you can actually do now is you can get specifically Steam gift oh, cards, yeah. right. which is awesome. That's going to be for, like, PC games to where they can just get on their computer, find the game they want, download it, DLC, that sort of thing. Uh, along the same vein, you've got Microsoft gift cards, yeah. you got PlayStation gift cards, where they can do the same thing. Uh, also, with both uh, Xbox and PlayStation, you can do the membership gift cards, where you can just buy them online, print out a sheet of paper... Hand it to the nerd in your life. And I almost knocked my water over. That would have been epic. But you didn't. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then job. I gave myself away. <laughs> you did. No, <laughs> Anyways, like no one would have noticed. No, no one would have noticed. No, those type of things are awesome. I know being an Xbox gamer, that I, I tried to do it by the year, the Xbox Live Gold membership. And that would be an awesome gift yeah. for me personally. Yeah. Um, so that is certainly something else to consider as well. Um, you can also get, uh, like if you wanted to tailor a little bit to things like that, um, a lot of times video game companies, um, particularly if it happens to be a, um, you know, one of the massive multiplayer, uh, role-playing games, you know, a lot of those things, a lot of those have their own currency. Um, in the game shops and things mm -hmm. like that. And a lot of times you can get cards specifically for that. Uh, you know, and I mean, I'm, clear, I'm a big Blizzard fan. Oh, yeah. You know, I, yeah, I like uh, World of Warcraft, which I haven't played in quite some time. Mm -hmm. uh, but Diablo 3, Hearthstone is part of Blizzard as well. You know, and if, like, if I got a card, like just a Blizzard card, you know, I can put the stuff towards Hearthstone, get more card packs, I, or, or, you know, some of the little extras they have, or I could, you know, go into... World of Warcraft and either, you know, pay for some, some game time if I needed it, mm -hmm. or I can go in and get some, like, uh, you know, some of the little extras, like the mounts and the other things, which for some reason are ridiculously addictive and they're fun to collect. Yeah. You know, so things like that, if you can tailor something that, and I'm, I'm sure other games do it too, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they have to, like, I think Destiny oh, yeah. does that uh, no, as well. No, they do. And some they of the do. other things have, actually, is, Des is Destiny owned by Blizzard now? I can't oh, remember. No, Activision? no, no, uh, no. Destiny's Bungie. Is it Bungie? Mm -hmm. Why do I? Why did I see that as Activision? Maybe it wasn't uh, Destiny too. I don't know. Um. <laughs> anyway, sorry, a, a little off topic. Anyways, but things like that, you know, are, are absolutely wonderful. And we'd be thrilled with with things like that. Um, um, and along the same lines, you can actually purchase specific games in a code format. Oh, yeah. Uh, to where you just go online, purchase a game for whatever system, email the code to yourself, print it out, hand it to the nerd in your life. Yep. They have the game. They have the uh, game. They download it. Copy. Yep. Uh, you can do the same thing with movies and music. Oh, right. All of those are great options, even for non nerds in your yep. life. Um,. Oh, I forgot about movies, actually. Yeah, that works. One yeah. last thing to think about with uh, the whole gift card thing, the e-gifts, the digital download gifts, uh, that a lot of people seem to skip over, Play Store and iTunes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. My gosh, those can be so useful, and, and people do not think about them as gifts, yeah. or at least most people. Um, but yeah, yeah that's, Android. That's, that's actually good for. I mean, that's it's great for nerds, but it's good for non-nerds. It's good yeah. for everyone. Yeah, because I mean, that times, can be used for music, movies, yeah. that sort of thing. And a lot of times, it, kind of on the same thing with Blizzard, like I was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. One of the unique things about getting something like the Play Store stuff, the iTunes things, or like the Blizzard sort of things, is a lot of times if I get a gift card, you know, I'm going to like I'm going to get it on something I want, but it's something that I would normally get, you know. Um, you know, if it's tailored like a little bit, like, you know, specific towards Android or, or, um, Apple or, you mm -hmm. know, those type of things. And it's kind of tailored into something. Then I get, then I end, then I end up buying something that's just unique and, and something that I really want, but wouldn't normally buy, you know, yeah. which is actually kind of cool. You know, I've done that like in world of Warcraft with some mounts and things like that. I wouldn't normally spend the money on it. 
but you know because i had that that credit or the you know those types of things it was something i could buy and i was just ridiculously happy about it yeah yeah, yeah no that, that sort of thing's amazing there's a ship on star trek online yeah. uh, that i desperately want and and i i will never spend the money on it myself so same, that's what yeah, i was talking about yeah. same exact thing and um, you would just be crazy happy would you not oh, I like you really get in your life would. oh man it's like one of the best gifts ever so, yeah. yeah um yeah no something like that would be incredible um but anyways if you need any more gift ideas i think we you can it, always go to www.orkrogues.com and find our zazzle store where we have shirts like this one or the one that has my face on it and says words are hard because let's face it that's a pretty cool shirt it is actually a pretty cool shirt it um, really is do you need clothing for the newest nerd in your family we've got onesies on there as well <laughs> they're actually just ridiculously cute like, they really I, are. like i wish my kids were smaller <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, check that out. We're also going to be selling dice on there very yes. soon. So be sure to stay following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Hopefully check Christmas. back on the website. Uh, that will be happening very soon. So, And there's some cool dice. There really, um, really are. My, my D&D group uses them every Friday night when we play. We have a good time with them. We do. We do. And like we said, if you have D&D nerd friends or, or tabletop nerd friends you, uh, you can never have enough dice you oh just can't. by the way speaking of tabletop nerds also dice towers dice trays oh, dice yeah. boxes that sort of thing is really really cool for tabletop nerds true so anyways but yes that is about all we have time for today mm -hmm. unfortunately we are not doing an orville video this week because thanksgiving happened and uh no orville no orville yeah uh Though, we do hope that all of our friends here uh, in the States had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And for those of you who are not in the States... We hope you had a great Thursday. That's all yeah, I got. We'll I, that. I, yeah, yeah, that's all I got. Um, you had a great day. Yep. That's what matters. That is what matters. Uh, don't forget to join me every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. on twitch.tv slash orcrows as I continue my journey through Tales of Berseria and Derek. And me generally on Monday at 2.30 Eastern Standard Time playing Hearthstone and always up for good conversation. Make sure you drop in to either one of us. We don't have to talk about the game we're playing. We can talk uh, about gift ideas. We can ideas. talk about gift ideas. Because I had a we cheat can, sheet. Yeah, we can talk about gift ideas. We can talk about Orville. We can talk about anything nerdy, geeky, and just plain fun. And of course, we don't have to talk about them on Twitch. We can talk about them below in the comments. So if you have other ideas that you think would be amazing, please leave them below so that we can know, so that other people watching can know that it is an idea that we might not have thought of. That would be amazing. We'd love to talk to you about it and continue the conversation there. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. And if you haven't already done it, hit subscribe. We do everything nerdy, geeky, and just plain fun. We upload a weekly video every week. I guess that was a little <laughs> redundant uh, on, on random but nerdy, do. geeky stuff. Every time a new episode of The Orville comes out, uh, Seth MacFarlane's new sci-fi series, we do a review on it. So be looking out for those as well uh also we do have some other things in the works uh we we've got a web series that we're wanting to work on we've got a movie that we're wanting to work on we've got a tabletop rpg that we are in development on we've got a board game that we're in development on but of course all of these things do cost money and if you would like to help out in any way the best way to do that would be on www.patreon.com slash and you can donate as little or as much as you want and we would increase Incredibly appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate absolutely. it incredibly. Absolutely, words are hard. Words are hard. Um, but yeah, any little bit helps. So, thank you in advance for that if you choose to do so. Yep, I believe that's yeah. I think that's all we got time for. Right? Yep, that's yep. pretty much it. So, thank you for joining us. Until next time, we are Wardrobes. Wardrobes.